Now, tonight we're hearing reaction from Columbus City leaders after a protest at The Ohio State University last night. Hundreds of people took to the South Oval to protest, calling for the university to divest from Israel. OSU police and the Ohio State Highway Patrol arrested three dozen people. 16 were students, the rest not affiliated with the university. We thank you for joining us tonight for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jared Smalley. And I'm Sierra Johnson in for Jennifer Bullock. NBC4's Jackie Gillis joins us now. And Jackie, what have you been hearing? Sierra and Jared, I spoke to one of the many arrested here last night. He's a Columbus resident and he tells me he believes the force used by law enforcement was beyond disproportionate. However, leaders we're hearing from today say they believe the university did the right thing. Students and protesters at OSU rallied three times this week. Two students were arrested Tuesday and three more were detained Thursday morning during an encampment demonstration. Thursday evening, protesters took over the South Oval. Police issued multiple warnings, attempting to break up the protest. Hours later, around 10, police began detaining protesters. In videos from last night, you can see protesters formed a circle linking arms, trying to keep officers out while people were in the middle praying. But by 10 p.m., dozens of protesters were getting dragged out one by one and placed on buses. One of NBC4's digital reporters, Sarah Salaji, talked with Governor Mike DeWine to get his reaction to the protest. He believes OSU did the right thing. There's always a balance between uh, allowing people to express their uh, opinions and First Amendment rights being utilized. Uh, but the university has the right to follow its own rules, and one of the rules they have uh, is no overnight encampment. Uh, they have a right to enforce that. That is that is what they did. Uh, so I think they, you know, they acted appropriately. He goes on to say that students have the right to express their opinion and that the university let them do that for several hours. He says that there needs to be a balance. Campuses are a place where people can express their opinion. Uh, that you know that is part of what going to school is. Part of what going to uh, a university is. Uh, but there, there is a balance that has to be balanced with the rights of other students as, as well. The Ohio chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE Ohio, condemned the actions that took place last night, releasing a statement saying, quote, it is deeply concerning that OSU's response to students demonstrating peacefully in solidarity with Palestine is forcible suppression of free speech and assembly. The university said in a statement that it will always take action that is in the best interest of our community. Those arrested last night will be released without needing to post bond and they'll be arraigned within the coming days. They were all charged with criminal trespassing. Mm -hmm. Local for you at The Ohio State University, I'm Jackie Gillis, NBC4. All right.